Elizabeth McDonald, web reporter for GC42. One of the long-standing traditions at United Church General Councils is inviting global partners and ecumenical guests to come and participate and contribute in a variety of ways. And this tradition continues at this 42nd General Council. Among our global partners and ecumenical guests is Marilea Schuler from Brazil. Now, this is not your first General Council. You were in Ottawa at the 41st General Council, and before that in Kelowna at the 40th General Council. As you think of those experiences, and you're here now at the 42nd General Council, what, what are you seeing, what are you noticing about us right now? Well, first of all, it, it's always a very good experience. I enjoy very much uh, being uh, amongst the members of the church and there is um, a sense, I can have a sense of the, the church community in a wider perspective than only participating in a small meeting or in a particular meeting. But uh, obviously when in the first uh, general council I participated, um, I didn't know very much how the system worked and uh, how, how were the commissions and so on. So I think now I'm more used to, to how the general council is organized and how the issues are brought to discussion and so on. So I, I think it's easier for me to participate. And I, I know many people already after all those experiences. So it's good to see some people again. I think uh, what I notice that is uh, very different from the other general councils is um, a, a very strong and, um, and clear concern of the, the church, of the gathering, in relation to the comprehensive review uh, report and the whole process that will be adopted uh, here in the General Council in relation to the comprehensive review. It seems to me that this is um, a preoccupying the, the, the members of the church and, and, and the, the way the, the program is organized gives really um, uh, a lot of space and opportunity for the church to discuss uh, uh, the proposals that are coming from the comprehensive review. So you see us poised to make significant changes. I'm it's wondering, uh, from the way you know us, yes. are there values or part of our culture, part of our heritage that you would recommend we hold on to in this process of letting go and changes? Are there things that you think we should carry with us mm -hmm. into our future, however it unfolds? Yes. Well, I can think about many things, and uh, one of them, I think, it's the commitment of the United Church to right relationships with uh, indigenous peoples, with Aboriginal peoples in Canada. I think that is a very, very important uh, uh, concern and uh, life-giving uh, uh, issue that the church is being working and that has to be continued. It will be continued to, I believe, seriously. The other one, I think the church um, is, um, is a pillar in terms of global partnerships. The, the United Church of Canada has been very strong on that, on partnership. And, and this partnership with organizations and churches and ecumenical bodies around the world, it's very important to be maintained. And there is also a strong element of uh, interfaith connections. So the church also has the, that, um, that work. Uh, and then I can think about so many other, other concerns, like uh, the commitment to LGBT, LGBTQ yes. uh, yes. uh, yes. that the church has and a, a very long-standing commitment and, and I think that will be continued and, um, and I could also uh, uh, refer to the whole, the whole issue of mission. Mission of the church 
um, mission of the church to the world and that this, this comprehensive review process and whatever new structure the church would come to, I think um, the church must be doing that also for, because of mission, that the mission of God that is, the church is called to do and, and to serve the people of God and to serve the people that are in need and, and to work for justice and to resist evil and, yes. um, and to continue this commitment that have been so strong uh, in the life of UCC. I, I trust the church will remain uh, firm and, and its path. Uh, of now, justice. You've come to us from Rio de Janeiro, yes. where you serve in yes. an ecumenical ministry program called Koinonia, yes. uh, Ministry of Presence and Service. Yes. What can we learn from you and life and ministry where you are? What can we learn as we face this future? Mm -hmm. Well, I think um, what I could say that comes to mind very clearly um, is, is the opposite, I would say. I will start on the other side by saying the following. Um, when I used to work in the World Council of Churches, um, I um, had the opportunity to work in, um, in a booklet for, to be distributed to the churches, mm -hmm. and um, the theme was transformative justice. Mm -hmm. And I remember very well that at that time in the World Council of Churches, we, uh, we worked with a very clear understanding of how the United Church of Canada was working and doing steps towards right relationships with indigenous peoples. So I think uh, now that I work in Koinonia and that we work for the rights of people of African descent, um, I can see how this transformative kind of work the UCC has been doing could be something that could be uh, enlightened by our experience in Brazil. Because I think in Brazil, we, we still, the churches and uh, in the society in many respects has not yet um, embraced the, the, its, its reality of the indigenous peoples that still live in the country, even though in smaller numbers than in the past. But indigenous peoples, are the first nations of Brazil as well, yes. and and also the recognition, uh, the the whole of history, Brazilian history, on uh, slavery and the presence of the African Brazilians um, in the situation of racism and discrimination that is still present in Brazil. So my answer is to say that we we can learn from the experience of the United Church of Canada in terms of searching for justice and building right relationships. I think that is something that is very important for us to, as well in, in Brazil. So much to learn, much to share, much to continue to partner around, exactly. however the future unfolds. Yes, certainly, Marilea, certainly. Thank you so much. Thank you, Elizabeth. Marilea Schuller, member of the Global Ecumenical Delegation from Latin America and the Caribbean here at the 42nd General Council. To find out more about what's happening, go to gc42.ca.